Hello and welcome to Let's Play Futurama, with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, we played a Zoidberg in the swamps of Bogad, trying to reach a generator to turn on the Time Tunneler, and travel back in time and save the universe. Uh, all thanks to the help of uh, Adoy, the Professor's former mentor. What a weird little guy he was. Anyway, we've done that, we turned on the generator, let's travel back in time, and, uh, well, see Mum, I guess. Now we know who trashed our ship. Oh no, it's already nine. If we want to stop Mom from having bought Planet Express in the first place, we better hurry. To the ship! Now, if I understand time paradoxes, we're supposed to take the good ship and leave the bad ship behind for the original us, right? The bad behind... say again? <sighs> Just get in. As soon as you sign here, Planet Express will be mine. <laughs> Did I do something funny? No, I'm sorry. I should say my evil laugh till after you sign. Okay, then. Don't sign that, Professor! We came from the future! It's a trick! You are? Once Mom gets Planet Express, she's gonna take over the Earth. And then she's gonna turn it into a giant spaceship and take over the universe. Man, that was cool. Earth is all... And the other planets are like... How droll. Could I talk to you three over here for a moment? A little to your left. Wonderful. Oh! I am Destructor! Initiating target practice mode! Oh crap! Um, let's move out of the way quickly. <laughs> no time to introduce myself, let's move. Yeah, uh, as you can see our plan to stop mum didn't quite work there. And now we are target practice for that guy. Who you may recognise from the show, that's Destructor. I think he was in the episode... Um, well he's been in a few now, but... I remember him mainly from the one where Bender becomes a boxing robot. Or a wrestling robot. And he is one of the opponents, Destructor. So, we're kind of stuck here in uh, in his little target shooting range, and we need to get up. So, whoa, that, that gets me. Okay. Can I reach that? No, I need to get him to shoot this pillar. There you go. Then we can maybe get up there. Oh, okay. Uh, there, I think there's a lever on the other side of this room over... Oh, camera. Oh, camera's going to move for me. Okay, well, it's just... Just past these spinny things. So we're going to have to go and try and get past this. Although, having done all that stupid temple stuff with Leela, we should be pretty pro at this. Oh, maybe not. Um, <laughs> is this one going to move? <gasps> yes, it is. Oh, you sneaky little thing. There we go. There we go. Oop. And oop. Oh, well, maybe not. Is this one going to move? Oh, did I... Oh, that's close. Thanks, camera. For nothing. I'm nearly dead already as well, though. This is not good. Let's turn that on. And I think that's opened a door. Good, good. All good. I think he's still there, though. We need to try and get back now. Without dying. Um, oh, good. There's health. Alright, ready? And run. 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 Oh, no! 
Ah, oh, okay then. So, yeah, this is, this is, ooh, no. Huh? Huh. I can't do anything in this place. Uh, um. Oh, we can't get past anyway. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, so this is Bender's breakout. We've got a breakout from Mum's evil lair. And there's going to be quite a few robots in our way. Like that little one. They're like little kind of cleaning robots, but pure evil. They come out of those little flaps in the ground. We'll see more of them, don't you worry about that. In fact, probably right here. There you are. Ugh. They actually do quite a lot of damage, so I'm going to try and not get killed by it. I think after a certain time it just turns off. Like this, and then you can go... That's why, as of today, they call me um, Yeah, I think that worked. Didn't take any damage. We'll we're, we're, we're go with that. These things, however, are just annoying. I'm so impatient, I just want to jump straight through it. No! Maybe you don't have to wait for those. I'm not exactly sure how you kill them, to be honest. Um... There we go. Let's just... No, there you go, that's it. Wow, they are really easy. That's no challenge. These are more challenging. Oh, poo. Okay, so. Let's do some maths now, children. <laughs> well, maybe some some patterns in numbers. This is pathetic. I'm sorry, look at this. Hmm. We've got to fill in the question marks. What could go between nine and seven? Eight? Yay! Yeah, this is. I don't see the point of this. This is really lame. I'm sorry. But. Four. Three. Two. And one. Ooh, we did it. Nice little happy music. Great. Oh, I see that down there. Yeah, I thought you were going to open. I knew it. Ooh! Oh, that, that got me. Oh, no, I'm going to die. Not bad for a pre I need health. That's clearly not the way you defeat them, but I don't care. So, um, is this where Destructor is? Oh, yeah, there he is. Hello. Luckily, you can't see us and shooting here. It just seems to be kind of having a little, having a little break. Enough shooting for one day, it seems. Um, and if you can hear this... Oh, there he is. Yes, we've only got one nibbler in this level. It's not a very long level, and he should be right in here. Ah ha! Ah ha! Ah, ah. Last of them. Now to preheat the oven. Yep, yep. Um, can I mess any of these buttons around? No, probably not. Let's just do this then. Ha ha! Good, good. Um, I actually quite well. I think they may have reused this interior from somewhere. I can't remember where, um, but you know, it's it's just different now. I like when the levels change and it's just different from all the temple stuff. We get some of these weird, look at this, it's just weird. This is like uh, Windows Media Player backgrounds from years ago. Uh, can we actually do anything in here? No. Nope. Ah, yeah, this is, this is where we see more robots. Specifically, Daleks, it seems. Look at this. They must have have drawn influence from the Daleks with these. That's oh no, get away from me! They make no noise. Oh, is that their face? Oh, look at their little face there. Uh, let me knock them over when they put their spikes away. I didn't realize they had, they had little faces. <laughs> I wish they'd face me so I could see them. I'm gonna die as well. Um, yeah, there he is. It looks like Bender's face actually. Why does it look like Bender's face? This is weird. Things are getting creepy. Ah, okay, it's like another one of these counter things like we had in Bender's level before. Way back in the Weasel Canyon. Health? Health. Lovely. So, I'm guessing we have to do four of these. Does that just turn back on? It sure has, and there's going to be a robot. There we are. A big version. Look at that. That's like their daddy one. And they've still got the same face. Oh, I wish... Why isn't the... F ah! No! <laughs> Did they really just reuse Bender's face for that? That's really lazy. No, just have to jump on top. Wow, yeah, that's it. 
exactly the same process. Fair enough, I'm not complaining. Has the light turned on? Yeah. Um, just speaking of Dalek so quickly, this has got nothing to do with Future Armor. Although Future Armor has referenced um, the show I'm going to mention uh, a few times, D uh, Doctor Who. They have mentioned it a couple of times, I think, because it is still sci-fi-y. Um, man, I'm so excited. I don't know how many of you watch Doctor Who who watch my videos, but very, very, very soon, I think it's the 23rd of November, it is the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who, and it's going to have a special episode with David Tennant and Matt Smith in it. Oh, it's going to be so good! And John Hurt and Billy Piper and our... Uh, if you've seen the trailer, I think I, I, I linked it on Twitter one time because I was just bored and I thought, let's tweet something that's not just a video update. So I was like, oh, this trailer, man, I cannot wait. It looks so good. I haven't actually been a big fan of the recent Doctor Who episodes, but this one seems like a kind of special... To be honest, it seems like this is where they put... Oh, the floor breaks on this one. It seems like this is where they put all the money. Um, they've taken all the money and saved it for this one episode. Uh, I don't like the floor breaking. That's a bit nasty. But there we go. Four lights, all done. I don't know what that weird flickering is on the screen. Why is it doing that for? It's only doing it during cutscenes. No, it isn't. There it is. Mm, I've just saw that out. Sorry about that, guys. Or maybe it's a loose connection. Anyway, I think this is the end of the level now. Let's try this. Yeah, told you it wasn't very long, but that was Bender's Breakout. Um, just some really lame, lame robots, I guess. But we got the Nibbler, the one Nibbler. Didn't get any money because there was none in that level. Oh, huh, interesting. And the next level is Leela's Last Laugh. Interesting. So until then, thank you for watching, and goodbye.